Hey, this is Ryan from Web Eminence, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about tracking conversion value in Google Ads. So you've probably heard of tracking conversions in Google Ads. If you haven't, this is important, and I did another video, actually a few videos, and I'll link to one here. Um, but tracking conversions would be tracking any positive actions that happen on your website as a result of advertising in Google Ads. So this could be form submissions, it could be sales on your website, or it could be uh, phone calls. But did you know that you can actually track conversion value in Google Ads? And what I mean by value is the actual revenue that's created for your business as a result of Google advertising. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two common ways that people track conversion value in Google Ads. So the first way that I'm gonna show you is tracking e-commerce sales with the WooCommerce plugin. So WooCommerce is a popular e-commerce plugin that WordPress website owners use to create e-commerce stores to sell products on their website. So if you have an e-commerce store and you're doing Google advertising through Google Ads, you know it would be great to track how much value or how much revenue and sales is coming from your Google advertising. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then the second method of tracking conversion value that I'm gonna show you is by attributing sales or revenue to your leads that come in through contact forms or sales. And we're gonna do this using the CallRail platform. I did another video on CallRail, which is a uh, call tracking platform that does a lot more than call tracking. So we're gonna show you CallRail uh, when I show you this second method of tracking conversion value. So let's first go to the Google Ads platform. I'm gonna show you conversion actions and how you set them up to track conversion value. So I am in the Google Ads account for a client where we're tracking conversion value and their e-commerce sales in this case. So here's one conversion action called sale. You can see it has some conversion value for the last 30 days. If I click on this conversion action to open up the settings, you'll see that for value, it is set to use different values for each conversion. So you might have conversion actions that are always $100 value, for example, or maybe you just think a lead is worth 50 bucks. So you could just click this and say $50 and that'll track value to some degree. I'll talk about tracking leads and sales from leads in a minute, but this is for tracking e-commerce conversions. So you'd usually use this option because each sale is gonna be different depending on what they purchase. So that's how conversion value is set up within uh, conversion actions within Google Ads, pretty simple. The tricky part is getting it, um, getting the value sent to Google Ads. So in the case of this client I'm showing you, it's an e-commerce site running on WordPress and WooCommerce. So they're selling these different products, you know, people add it to the cart and then they check out and we wanna know how many dollars in sales are being generated from Google Ads. So one way to do that with WooCommerce is using a plugin and there are a number of them, but the one that we've been using on this site is called WooCommerce Google Ads Conversion Tracking. It's pretty simple. You just search for it in WordPress plugins, click on add new. It's already installed for me. So I'm just gonna show you the settings. I'm actually gonna put the conversion ID in here, the conversion label, which, which you could find from the um, Google, Google Ads conversion page. So again, you go back to here and then you need to go to tag setup, install the tag yourself in order to find the um, values you need. So there are numbers that are in here. So you paste those values in here. Uh, there are directions. There's even videos here from this plugin uh, developer showing you how to do that. We can use the order subtotal as a value or the total, including tax and shipping. And there are some other settings here to add other cart data. I'm not using this right now. But these few settings right here is all you need to send your cart data to Google Ads as a conversion and uh, send it as conversion value. And then if the order gets placed, you'll know and it'll send that value to Google Ads. So this is just one way to track conversion value for many people who use WooCommerce and um, WordPress. If you're using some other platform, you might have to custom code to track conversion value or maybe there's another plugin, or maybe you're using something like Shopify or Big Commerce, and they're probably gonna have an app or plugin to do something similar to this. So obviously not everyone is an e-commerce site, 
it's kind of simple to track value when it comes to e-commerce sites because the value happens right at the point of sale. But for many advertisers and many of my clients, we're tracking leads in the form of calls from ads, phone calls from the website, or quote requests, or just contacts through the website. So those have some value to the client, but they have real value when they become revenue, uh, when someone might purchase you know, a, a month later, a day later, a week later. So there are ways to track this. So this client, for example, has quote requests. This is an insurance agent, and he's getting leads. Uh, but you notice we're not tracking conversion value yet, but he's got lots of conversions over the last few years. Um, but there is one way that you can track this pretty easily using a tool called CallRail. So CallRail is a call tracking tool uh, platform that you can use on your website to track phone calls initially, but it also can track forms and um, show those as leads on the platform. There's all kinds of things you can, can do with this platform and I use it for a lot of my clients. So here's what the dashboard looks like. Um, if you're intrigued by this, you probably should check out my call rail review video. But in this video, I just want to show you how you might track conversion value using this tool. And you can start using this tool yourself for 20 to $30 a month. And ultimately what it's doing in the case of this client is it's tracking all the phone, all the phone calls that come through the website and it's telling us the source, whether it's Google My Business, being organic or Google Ads. So if we wanted to track value in this case, there's a few things we need to do. We can go into this call and this is the data for this call and I could give it a tag. So I could tell, I could say it was commercial, a conversion or a bad call. That's one way to kind of track value and I can just refer to that within CallRail, but I can also actually give it a value. So if this person purchases or signs up for insurance on the phone and it was worth $500 or $1,000 over three years, however I want to measure value, I can type that in here and save it. I'm not going to save it here, but um, that's where you would type it. And there's another setting within CallRail to actually send that value to Google as a conversion. So if we go to settings and click on the Google ads integration, there is a setting in here for conversion values. And what CallRail can do after you've inputted a value, like I just showed you, it says we'll report it to Google ads along with the conversion. So it'll report a conversion and it'll report the conversion value that you type in. So you can actually send the values on a delay because these are a phone call. So you might not get a sale immediately. It might be a week, a month. So you can actually automatically send the value in so, over some period of time. It could be 15 minutes, hours, days, 30 days. So this is not going to be an immediate data, but this can be really valuable for people who are using Google ads over the period of years or even months just to kind of see where the value is coming from with campaigns. So it's sort of delayed gratification in terms of data, but it can be very powerful for deciding what's working for you. So if you were to do this on a regular basis, and there, there's a few ways to automate it. You could use keyword spotting, like if someone says a certain word in a voicemail or on a call, you can give it a value. And you could even press a button right while you're on the phone with someone to give it a value. So there's all kinds of automation and tools within CallRail that you would have to check out. But ultimately, if you get this set up and running, the result is that you're going to have a conversion action in here like sale or something um, or maybe it's even going to put it under phone call I believe so it'll have the phone call conversion which comes from call rail but it'll start tracking value uh, in this column here. So this is pretty advanced a lot of my clients and a lot of clients in general don't do this but it's a powerful way to kind of take the next step in tracking the value you're getting from Google ads. And you could then bid smarter and use some advanced strategies to create value out of the cost that you're spending on advertising. Once you're tracking conversion value, you can then use a new metric called ROAS, R-O-A-S, or return on advertising spend. And this is a great metric that you'll be able to use to track the value you're creating versus the cost. 
Um, and this is a powerful way to kind of track your progress over time and see how you're doing. But again, you need to be tracking conversion value in order to get this ROAS number. So I did another video on ROAS and some of the averages for what you could expect if you get to the point of tracking value. So I'll link to that video here and you can check that out for more information and we'll see you there.